oh, we need to Google this too, because uh, Mexico has a new president, and I heard that thirty plus presidential candidates were assassinated. Oh, that might be just a TikTok meme. <sighs> So I have to find out. So let's find out in real time. But the sky, the reason why the sky is so cloudy looking, that's uh -huh. smoke from wildfires in Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they did a controlled burn and they, whoops. Oh, boy. They whoopsied. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. <laughs> 37, excuse me. Claudia Scheinbaum uh, was elected the country's first female president after a bloody election campaign that saw 37 candidates assassinated. And that's our neighbor. Whoa. We live next to a fucking crack house. <laughs> <laughs> That's on fire. A, a crack house on fire run by a Jew. <laughs> the a first a lady. First lady. Uh, more than three dozen candidates were assassinated, including a local government candidate in Central Pueblo State who was killed on Friday, increasing the total number of those killed to 37. Who the fuck would want to run for office in Mexico? Dude. That is so crazy. That's this, so crazy. And look how few people. Look, 20,000 positions to fill and 70,000 candidates. If you have 20,000 positions in America, how many candidates do you have? Probably a lot more because nobody's getting assassinated. Right. That would be one way to start thinning the herd. Yeah. <laughs> Taking them out. I mean, how far away? I mean, it sounds crazy, right? This is Mexico. It's not America. We don't, how far away are we from, uh, like, seeing another JFK-type situation? Man. I mean, Jesus. Fuck. Could be close. Seems like there's a candidate that the government really doesn't yeah, want. Yeah, there's this one guy. What's yeah. his name? Yeah. <laughs> one guy who went to the UFC this weekend and got like a 30-second standing ovation. Yep. Almost as big as Dave in Ohio, but not quite. Right. Not quite. <laughs> they're changing the tone on this. I mean, yeah. like, you know. They're doing it. They want to try to make him look like a bad guy, but people just aren't stupid anymore. I mean, there's obviously still like half the country doesn't get it, but yo, so many, so many rappers, so many rappers are showing support for Trump now. It's crazy. Yeah, because now he's got a felony. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, like now they realize also he's getting trapped by the system, just like everybody's been rapping about being right. trapped by the system, this bullshit system, and you, you watch it happen with him. Exactly. Yeah, I was just talking about this. It's like they I don't think they were counting on the black voter being like, Hey, they just fucked that guy. That's what they do to us. Yeah. This is what they do to everybody and they pretend they're there for you while they're letting in immigrants. <sighs> and you know what, man? Here's the problem. Here's the real problem. Republicans won't be the solution either, kids. The the problem is people in a position of power. The Republicans seem like they are your solution. But it's just because the people in power right now are the Democrats. Whenever the Democrats are out and the Republicans are in, everybody is dying for a Democrat. I remember when Bush was president, after the second term, everybody was like, good Lord, can we get a fucking reasonable Democrat in here before this country goes Christian nationalist and fucking and goes crazy and starts every war? Yeah. And then Obama comes in like, oh, things are going to be great. But it kind of seems like kind of the same. You know, and the whistleblower protection that he promised, eh, actually, probably like one of the worst on whistleblowers ever. Drone strikes, eh, kind of a shitload of drone strikes. Yeah. The whole thing was bonkers. It's just the same structure with a different face. It's Bill Hicks's joke. Bill Hicks's joke about, uh, I think the puppet on the left is to my liking. Yeah. Well, I'm more aligned with the puppet on the right. Hey, there's one guy and he's holding both puppets. <laughs> <laughs> That's... That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with money. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with money and power. And it, it uh, you know, if you think that that's where a person like a Trump character does make a difference, though, because he truly does not give a fuck. And especially now, after all they've done to him, just all the things he survived. Yeah. You know, I think this guy was beloved, beloved until he's about 70 years old. Yeah. And that's when he starts running for president. Actually, he was a little bit mocked before that while Obama was in office because he was one of those people that was uh, a birther. Yeah. You know, he was a, I'm one of those people that I don't give a fuck where you were born as long as you're not actually a uh, undercover terrorist. You right. know, if you're like clearly like a regular person that just happened to be born in Nigeria or happened to be born in Saudi Arabia, but now you're here, you went to school here, you got friends here, you got family here, you love it here. 
America's the shit. You can be president. Like, I don't really think that you have to be born on a certain patch of dirt to run it. That seems like Viking shit. <laughs> that seems like, that seems so old. Yeah. That seems so dumb. What about the 35 thing? Is that the age? Yeah, that's a good age. Up until I was 50, I was retarded. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think 35 is good just for humans. I think you need... You need a certain amount of life experience. You need a certain amount of uh, trials and tribulations, character testers, a lot of education, a certain amount of like changing your perspective on the world because we all do that. As a, like as a young man, I was very liberal, super super liberal. You know, I mean, I just anything the Democrats believed, I believed. Never interested in anything the Republicans had to say. All they wanted to do was like shove God down your throat and stop abortions. That's, totally, that's what I was. No, saying. I was so with. I mean, a hundred percent with you on that. Well, super, that's brainwashing too, right? Yeah, I was super liberal until I got my first paycheck in the state of California, <laughs> <laughs> and then everything started changing. Yeah, when people get rich; they get Republican real quick. Yeah. Yeah, but not there's a lot of really rich people that are Democrats, which is interesting because they got so much money They could vote Democrat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They got so much money they don't even try to protect it California is considering a 30 cents per gallon tax on The miles or 30 cents per mile because so many people have electric cars. So the gas tax is losing money And, and they want everybody to have electric car by 3035 or 2030 3035 would actually be realistic 2020, 2035 is crazy. There's like not enough. There's yeah. not. We don't have enough stuff. Right. We can't build all those cars. Like, what are you gonna do with all the cars that are gas? You know how many cars there are? There's more cars than there are people. There's more cars here than there are people. Oh, that makes sense. Oh yeah, well, a lot more.